In this week's Master in a Minute, we're going to take a look at some different shadow effects that you can create in InDesign. What you're seeing on the screen right now is just a typical drop shadow that has been applied. But what if I want to create drop shadows where there's no color to the text or the text is white and it looks like I've got a shadow hanging out? Well, that's very simple to do in InDesign. If I simply select my text and I open up my swatches panel, and look at my text element and right now it's got a fill of black if I change it to paper now I have this effect where it looks like my drop shadows just kinda hanging out and the text is knocked out of it but what I really want to do is to be able to create what's called a floating drop shadow that's just a drop shadow that doesn't look like it has any type attached to it Well, right now there really isn't a way to do that in InDesign however there is a workaround so I'm going to select these text right here and I'm going to duplicate it. So let's take a look at this second element. In InDesign you have controls over effects which include all the different pieces of your element. So if I select the second shadow and go ahead and open up my effects panel and I'm going to double click to edit this. Now I have controls over the X and Y or horizontal and vertical coordinates of this particular drop shadow. So if I change my offsets here in my drop channel of shadow effects panel, and let's make this 3 inches or 18 picas, and deselect, now it looks like my drop shadow is just kind of hanging out floating. And that is one way to work around the limitation of this in InDesign. And you've just mastered it in a little more than a minute.